commentary. Oh, shit. There we go. Something I can deal with. This is much better than Skyrim. <laughs> anyway, Fit Five commentary number 227. Neo Roma has sent in the Tomb Raider reboot, or I guess whatever the fuck you want to call this other bullshit, man. And this is a part of the whole copycat challenge. Like I said, people are sending in videos of games that were only submitted one time. And obviously, we just had Skyrim, and I had to go off on those motherfuckers one last time. <laughs> oh, man. Will there ever be another Skyrim video on my channel? I don't know. But I'll tell you right now, if they do, I'm going to be yelling at them. I'll be yelling at fucking Bethesda till the day I die, man. That fucking company. You know, I ain't going to get into it. I already did it in the last video, man. But anyway, I'm glad to see Tomb Raider back, man. I don't know about you guys, man, but I grew up playing Tomb Raider back on the PlayStation and shit like that. You know, of course, we had some pixelated implants back in the day. <laughs> Anybody who played Tomb Raider back in the day knows, man, that Lara Croft had some serious implants back in the day. That girl was completely unproportional, man. So, obviously, you know, games nowadays, we obviously want to have some, um... Some more realism, some more actual, you know, realistic looking graphics, some more grounded series that actually, you know, hit home as opposed to, you know, this fantasy crap of, of fucking, I remember the goddamn uh, Tyrannosaurus chasing you around and shit like that. <laughs> oh, God, man. So, when they rebooted this series, I'll tell you right now, I didn't think this was going to be any good. I honestly thought that this was going to be another flop because considering that the, the history of Tomb Raider, it hasn't had a good string in recent years. And part of that was it was just played out. That was just the reality of it. You know, Uncharted came along, and Uncharted became that sort of action, adventure, Indiana Jones kind of game that hasn't been done in a while and shit like that. So when this game came along, I was like, oh man, there's going to be some more Tomb Raider bullshit. <laughs> And I'll be honest, I played uh, plenty of the games, man, but after a while, you just got kind of bored with them because it's just it just kind of felt the same. There, there, there was no way around it. It just felt similar and, and sort of the same rundown plots every single time and shit like that. So... Obviously, the game ran its course, and now I believe Crystal Dynamics are uh, under uh, Square Enix and shit like that. They're obviously, they rebooted the whole franchise. They showed the origins of Lara Croft. They showed how she actually got started. And it was a more grounded series. It was a more visceral series. It was it was literally something that they hadn't done in a long time. As before, they, they just showed Lara Croft as an as ass kicker to begin with. Now they're showing her as her start, as to how she got started. Damn, that shit was nasty right there. <laughs> I mean, you just bust the motherfucker in the head like that shit. I didn't think they would show that shit. They didn't have that shit back in Tomb Raider. Back in Tomb Raider, man, they actually had, like, normal, like, cheap graphics. You know, like, you shoot somebody, you didn't even see no blood, man. Maybe you see, like, a little red spurt or some shit like that. But now, man, they, they get all into it. You see, like, an arrow just bust right through a motherfucker in the front of his face and shit like that. And what the fuck? Is this, like, a cult or some shit? The Solari brothers. The Razio, the Sun Queen? Oh, yeah, this is definitely some kind of cult. <laughs> This is some shit you would see like in the deep south somewhere, man. Or like all the way out in like those prairie states and shit like that, you know, where there ain't nothing to do but just like being a cult and shit. <laughs> oh, man. No, anyway, like I said, man, I'm glad to see that this series is back. I'm glad to see that, that they actually made it something that people want to play and shit like that. And obviously, I didn't get the game. You know, I thought about it. I kept my eye on it. I was like, you know, maybe let me get the game. Maybe let me consider buying it. And then for whatever reason, I just said, you know what? It's, it's just not for me, man. It, it ran its course. And I'm glad that it is back. I'm glad that people are enjoying this shit. Now, it sold a lot of games, too. I remember when this game came out, Square Enix was like, oh, we're going to try and sell, you know, five, six, seven million copies just to break even. And people thought, like, you're out of your damn mind, man. Lara Croft isn't going to sell that shit again. Sure enough. Square Enix sold pretty well in this damn game. It got nominated for, for a number of Game of the Year categories, but, but let me, let's be honest, man. You went up against The Last of Us, Grand Theft Auto, and Bioshock Infinite. I mean, the, the, if you got in fourth place, you'd just be happy with it. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You know when you're facing off against three incredible competitors, you're just happy to be the next one that beats all the other shit like that? Yeah, this is definitely... What the hell? Oh, okay. All right, I see what you're doing. I don't know what the fuck that shit was, but I guess you're just kind of like blowing up all these like gases and shit like that. I guess you have like, like explosive arrows or something. I don't know. That's my guess. I can't. I can't really tell. And anyway, man, you know it's it's funny when you see like the Lara Croft games and stuff like that back in the day. You know, you had a lot of platforming, you had a lot of puzzles, you had to figure shit out. And there was always like a troop of bad guys, and you always wondered how the fuck did they get where they were way ahead of where Lara was? She had to bust her ass to jump up. You know, like off chandeliers and platforms and ledges and shit like that. There's a motherfucker's up there just chilling. I'm like, how did he get up there? Did he have a rope or some shit, you know? You know what I'm talking about? It was all kinds of bullshit. Well, you're just sitting there like, man, there's some serious bullshit that somebody was able to get up there way before I did, and these motherfuckers didn't hear no explosion. They they, they just kind of like keep, I uh, don't you know, man. They just kind of sit there like, yeah, we're just going to not do anything. All right, I guess so. <laughs> uh, this is some stupid AI. 
I mean, think about it. You just heard a gigantic explosion in a fucking tunnel. It's like, oh, what's that sound? Oh, I guess that's nothing. <laughs> oh, man. So, did you just miss? I couldn't tell if he, he missed or whatnot, man. Oh, no, I guess he didn't fire. Oh, yeah, these are fire arrows or some shit. This motherfucker didn't notice the dude was on fire? What the fuck? Oh, yeah, that some bitch got, huh? All right. Some bitch got a gun and, and shoot and couldn't kill you. I, I, I don't give a shit, man. Get, just hit them. Are you working on challenges or something, man? I can't tell. I remember the first part. I forgot who was that sent me the, the first video of this. But, you know, they just basically took it from the start. They just moved it along. What the? I guess you're freeing people? Anyway. They, I don't know what the hell the uh, the storyline is in this motherfucker, man. Um, I have I have no idea what the hell she's talking about. Man, I remember the first dude when he sent it in. He obviously just took it right from the beginning of the right after the damn um the title screen and shit. He said, "Fuck it, we're just gonna take it right from here." <laughs> and, and we we didn't get any. We got barely just the beginning. We got like a tutorial up in this motherfucker. So obviously now now uh, Neil Roman he's advanced this story quite a bit. So he's obviously in the middle of a story somewhere. I don't know the beginning, middle, end, whatever the fuck. But obviously it's way past the uh, the initial opening up in this bitch, man. You know, it's funny, I, I don't fault the dude for sending me in the, the beginning of the game, because as you guys will notice when I do the, the Goodbye PlayStation 3 series, I'm going to have a whole bunch of video games where I just start from the very, very, very beginning. I, I, you know, I lost a lot of save data and shit like that. So, games that you probably, probably next week, we're going to um, continue on with the, you know, usually you guys notice that I'm not doing um, regular videos two weeks in a row. You, I might do the Goodbye PlayStation 3 series two weeks in a row, so most likely next week it'll be Goodbye PlayStation 3. But there are a lot of games where I just have to start from the beginning. I don't have any save data. I either deleted it, I lost it, I had to get rid of it because it's five or six, seven years old. So some of those games that I'm going to be going back to that I bought years and years ago, I got to start from the absolute beginning. And I'm like, man, fuck this. I ain't playing three hours to get a good scene. <laughs> Y'all saw that with Killzone, man. I was not about to go all the way to the end of that thing. No, 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 no. I wasn't going to play a six-hour campaign just so I could fight Colonel Raddick. I would have loved to have had a Colonel Raddick fight, but it just ain't happened up in this motherfucker, man. Now, also, depending on when I actually post this video, I, I believe I'm going to be posting it the week of, of E3. I'm, I'm doing this way before E3 and shit like that. I have a feeling they will be announcing part two if they haven't already. I, I, I just have that feeling. It seems like it, it's... um. This is going to be one of those games that they're just going to take on and they're going to put every two years. It's going to turn into like Uncharted for a while and shit like that. Crystal Dynamics, they're able to put out games very quickly and shit. And, you know, if, if it's on a proprietary engine, they just basically have to update the engine and shit like that. So I have a feeling. I have a very good feeling that we're going to see this at E3. I, I, I just have that feeling. We probably saw it already. I don't know, depending on when I post this motherfucker. But I just have a feeling that whatever, if there's a sequel, we're going to see it at E3. And there is no way in hell I would want to be hurt right now. I'll be like, fuck that shit. <laughs> I'm like, man, I'm dying after this shit. Now, I, I don't... What the fuck? Yeah, this is definitely some Uncharted shit. Now, here's what I don't understand. Are they in some kind of, like, uh, uh, poisonous gas cavern or explosive gas cavern? Because I, I keep saying, yeah, you see all these damn explosions. Meanwhile, that fucking thing hasn't, hasn't fallen down. But, um... I don't know what... Yeah, I would have jumped off that shit, too. <laughs> I'm like, man, fuck that shit. I ain't staying on here. If that shit falls, you're on your own, motherfuckers. Yeah, but I, I guess it's some kind of poisonous or explosive gas. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but did she just, like, leave those people in there? Did they escape? I don't know. I can't tell. Oh, yeah, okay. She... Oh, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, right. That reminds me of that bullshit-ass Mission Impossible scene. Remember with Tom Cruise all the way back in the day where he's on a helicopter and the shit explodes and he ends up back on the train? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, right, man. Yeah, this is this definitely took some some elements of Uncharted. There's no question about it. Uncharted obviously took elements of um, Tomb Raider and shit like that. But but you know, Tomb Raider did it first, and then and then Uncharted came along and they took their levels of platforming and shit like that. But obviously now this is taking on more of a cinematic portion of a game. You know, they didn't have the the top cinematics that they had back on PlayStation One, PlayStation Two. So obviously they took a lot of cues from Uncharted because because obviously like I said, Tomb Raider was popular, but Uncharted came along and it blew all these adventure games out of the water and shit like that. So so obviously games are going to take their cue from games that are successful. So Tomb Raider, which had their stuff stolen from Uncharted, is now turning around and stealing their shit from Uncharted. <laughs> Hey, what goes around comes around, motherfucker, man. Anyway, I see this video is coming to an end, and Lara Croft is running into a fire inferno of hell or whatever the fuck, man. But anyway, as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit, and I'll see you guys in the next video.